and now the host of Entertainment Now, Gail Scott Key. Hello and welcome to Gail Scott Key's Entertainment Now show with my co-host Christina Millsaps and Richie Rich Mangia. We here feature some of your favorite stars from the past, present, and making sure you don't miss the uprising stars like our guest tonight. Tiffany Rothman is a Vietnamese actress. She has had great and rising success in the industry by starring in TV series and films, and including hearing in the popular Blue Bloods TV series. <laughs> Tiffany, thank you so, so much for taking the time to join us. I know you and I have been corresponding on social media for the last couple of months, and uh, you had a chance to speak with former co-hosts of mine. So thank you so, so much. It's wonderful meeting you and seeing you. Thank you for having me. I am thrilled to be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pleasure having you. You know, Tiffany, I'm going to get right into it because your story is so compelling. Uh, for those who may not be familiar, I wanted to always step back before the glitz and the glamour of all of the Hollywood your story is very time po pointed, uh, poignant, if I may say, because of the fact that before you came to the U.S., um, it was very heartbreaking, if you will. And and I just wanted to give a, a little compass, uh, if you would, about, you know, before coming to the U.S., um, because it takes a strong woman with a strong background to do what you've done. And I, I really wanted to take a little bit, if we could, uh, just taking a dip back and just sharing how you came to be, um, you know, learning the culture because it's so, it's, I feel it's so necessary right now with what's going on. If you agree with the temperature of everything that's going on, could you share a little bit of your background before you got into your actuary and your illustrious career? Yes, I, I was born in central Vietnam, but, but I grew up, when I was two, I moved to Saigon, and the area I live, it's very international, if you catch my drift, like, that, that the mm -hmm. complex I live in, it's people, it's like a United Nation, Every, everybody from everywhere, and they would have parties together, and they would have, like, it, like they, would, they would mingle together, and it, and it was very interesting. And also the, the club I belong to is the same. People from all over the world. So it, it was quite, it was very, very fascinating. So I was told where I from is third world, less developed country. And we have, we deal with people like this and come to the U.S. We see the opposite effect. Mm -hmm. but that was also interesting. Yes. Yes. Well, I, I think this is, this is a, uh, uh... Richie Rich, as they call me here, and uh, I gotta, I gotta admit, I am amazed and I am touched by that, since uh, my my heritage is Cuban and my 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 family immigrated from Cuba uh, to the U.S. and it's a huge learning curve. Uh, what, what's even more amazing is you, that's where your background is from, uh, but then from there, you know, we've got this amazing uh, celebrity that emerged. You know, and I'm, I'm curious, you know, doing events and everything else. And I'm kind of curious, you know, how that, you know, how that journey goes. You know, do you speak multiple languages? You know, because I, I know my mom, she she had a hard time. She spoke just Spanish for a long time. She had a hard time, you know, uh, here adjusting in the U.S. Did you speak English already in, in there? No, no, I, I, I learned it here, you know. I, I mean, I can recognize that. The language, you know, but I didn't understand it because, like I say, I, I live with uh, around many people that speak in different language. I mean, I can recognize, oh, that sounds like German and that sounds like English. <laughs> yeah. well, what I didn't know is that you actually are close to me or you were because in your travels, it looked like you had moved to the U.S. in 1975, as you said, and then you went to Brookline. Yes, a couple of years I ended up in Brookline. That's how I met your former colleague. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Well, you know, the truth is that I was born in Malden, Massachusetts, so I lost the accent, so you would never know. So see? <laughs> Malden. <There we> <laughs> Malden. <laughs> Malden. <laughs> you would never know. Um, I, went to school. I went to college with a few people from Malden. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With the accent there, yes. Right, um, right. <laughs> Tiffany, I was 
looking at some of your stuff and one thing really piqued my interest um was your that you're a dancer and you're on the board of advisors for the the Isadora um, Duncan yes my, my institute yes yes that, it's all your pictures were so beautiful of that and um so I wanted to hear a little bit about that because my daughters are competitive dancers and oh. it's a pretty like I mean we do competitions and stuff like that and so I thought your costumes and your your clothing was so beautiful but is it modern dance yes you can say that because Isadora Duncan didn't die until 1927 oh wow so okay. you were like 49 50 years old only so that would be considered modern dance and it also considered movement for film and theater okay so wh when i did theater and they told me that i have to do xyz and we need to rehearse for like at least half an hour but we did not all because i was able to take the direction immediately yes. like last time i did a movie last june and i supposed to i think like hold someone my long lost soul brother in my arms and i used the duncan technique to lift my soul up yes yeah. <laughs> And the cinema photographer, I, I think he was shocked. He said, please do it again. So, of course, I purposely did it wrong so I can I would be able to hold the, the actor in my arms again because he was so wonderful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guess that's one of the benefits of having uh, handsome co-stars, right? Yes, yes. Am I going to be the troublemaker? I can't. Okay, I noticed one of these is belly dancing, and I can't help but to, to, to think of, uh, a, a oh, friend of go. ours, uh, I think Gail might know her also. I don't know if Christine, if you know her, but there is a Disney screenwriter in New York, uh, Sherry Simpson, and she's also friends with our mutual friends. And yes. she tells the funniest story about her mother uh, actually made a career of belly dancing. I didn't know yeah, that. sure. I know yeah, I, I know. I know some, a few. It's, it's very, very difficult like put it that way yeah because they can cancel you when they feel like canceling you the last minute you will lose everything oh yeah wow. that must be that's so interesting. interesting that's so interesting. yeah yeah and and it's like the the professional belly dancer would say like oh when i say oh she's so and so is such a beautiful dancer they say yes yeah, she could easily be a professional belly dancer but I would not recommend that to anyone. <laughs> I say, I know, I know. I there know. you go, Richard. Richard was about to get out his little... little yeah, script. I was like, maybe, maybe I can still make a dancing. career out of it. I don't know. Yeah, a little side yeah. hustle. Yeah. Well, if you're yeah, interested, yeah. maybe Richard should take some belly dance class too. I, 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 that's I the teacher. It's a man. Are you going to teach means, him? No, I, I think, think you guys would pay to make me stop. Believe me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe <laughs> Tiffany, you could. We could do a Zoom session, and you could teach us since you're since you're the teach expert us. at it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'll do a hundred crunches though beforehand. Oh yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Nobody yeah. needs to see that mess. <laughs> <laughs> so then, really, theater is theater. Then, where you're acting, then sort of that's where it began for you on the live stage. Yes, because I I was working as a school psychologist in New York City, mm -hmm. and you know it's harder to you know to take time off, even though I got into some interesting movie, you know, like the one with like with Meryl Strip and, mm -hmm. and with and the, the one like I think it's called like a it's complicated, something like a She's divorce a with benefits. And that, that one I got in, but I, I, I didn't take it. And I got into another one I didn't take. So I have to, to do theater because theater, the one that I be, belonged to, they would perform Thursday to Sunday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And you know, and it's after five o'clock, wow. so that's easier. For me. So, so I, I did theater, and then in the summer, maybe sometimes I would get into some movie here and there. But when I finish working with the Department of Education, yes, I try to do a lot of multiple little student film and throw myself in it. And then I think I took a class in the class I need a Hollywood or New York mm -hmm. City. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's it. I'm going to take another course in Hollywood. And then I got a call. I got a call for some short film in L.A., in Orange County. And then I told my husband, let's move. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we did. Is he, and is my daughter eventually arts? joined us. <laughs> oh, is he in the arts also or no? No, but he, well, he very knowledgeable. He, he was working in the film lab before he went to grad school. Mm -hmm. And he he knows a lot about arts film and uh, a lot about artists. Great, you know, like he, we would watch film noir, great mm -hmm. film noirs together all the time. So that we have a lot in common with. Yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. 
Well, it just shows you that when, you know, acting and theater and this kind of art is your passion. And when you had another job, you just made it work. You know, you, you found a way to pursue it and then it became your main thing. Yes. So I think that's inspirational too. I mean, cause we all have things that we love to do. Some of us, some of us, you know, get to do our passions full time and some of us don't. Mm -hmm. So it's always an inspiration to keep going, keep going. You can see your story like with that too. And um, with your education, I saw that you have a doctorate, right? So should we be calling you doctor? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. But... <laughs> well, what, really what I did was I figured out that would be practical for me. And actually it it is because after I left my job at Department of Education, I got an offer, um, almost got an offer, but it was full time. So we have to end the interview because I, I wanted to, to work part time in a nonprofit organization. Yeah, I did my doctorate based on a play I was in. Actually, I saw that. Yeah, that so, that is inspirational. So so now you know what here in California is a little different, but they they were saying that if I wanted to do therapy or whatsoever, I could go back to get a certificate in addiction counseling because in California, you know, it's the job for addiction counseling. It's just like, yeah, leave it on the mat. Yes. And well, and it's I, much needed. I yeah. did. I did do a short film where I play a drug addict. And when I work for ACS, I was specialized in drug addict for a short time. Yes. Well, I mean, it's great that you got to to write your thesis on that and really study it. It's just, and again, intermingling and mixing both worlds. You know, that's yeah. that's really genius. So, Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, well, we're going to take a little um, nod to our sponsors. Um, the Gail Scott Key Entertainment Now is brought to you by Complete Real Estate Solutions, your one-stop solution to all of your real estate needs. If you're selling your house, hiring a pro is critical. Don't go it alone. We are local real estate professionals, so you will now have an expert on your side. We are a full-service real estate and property management company. We professionally manage all properties as well as Airbnb. Some of our professional services to consider are sales and leasing, probate, foreclosures, short short sales property manage it, property management so um we can also flash um later on the uh website for that um and you can also find this um amazing show gail scott keys entertainment now on podcasts and the multiple podcasts are apple podcast amazon google listen notes player fm spotify stitcher tune in and audible Thank you, Christina. Wow. And so yes. Anybody who is just tuning in, actress Tiffany Rothman is joining us this half hour, and she is amazing. And she was also on CBS Blue Bloods, Tom Selleck, Donnie Wahlberg. That is incredible. Now, Donnie Wahlberg and the Wahlbergs, they also have a nice restaurant, family owned with their mom, uh, and who had sadly passed away. So we never had a chance to really you know, uh, touch upon that. But there has been a wonderful picture that my wonderful co-host just quickly flashed up of Tiffany sandwiched in between Donnie Wahlberg. And who is the other wonderful actress that was standing to the right of you? Marissa. Marissa. Marissa Ramirez, I believe. Very, very nice. Now, where was this shot taken? Actually, in the Lower East Side. <laughs> Not far from Chinatown. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So tell us about the experience of when you got cast to be in Blue Blood, which oh, is very it was, amazing. It, it was very, very exciting. <laughs> Unfortunately, Blue Blood, they have this uh, rule that if somebody feature in it once, they're not going to call it back. Because I think right now they are casting some, a bunch of Vietnamese friends for, for doing something with them. It's something similar because of my, I heard about it and my friends are auditioning for it. And I said, oh, what a shame. So what happened was I was actually in New York at, at that time, getting, visiting people. And, and I think I got some dental work as well because my, my dentist is, is there. That's before I was able to, to find a good dentist here. So I was there and then I got uh, some notice. I said, like, you have an audition to, tomorrow and, and blah, blah, blah. And I say, oh, great. So I was staying with my friend them, and I, I returned it on Zoom and then they, they just, the, the audition, they, they said, say this, say that and improvise. And I did. And yes. the casting yeah. person said, oh, I'll see you later, I'm sure. I said, thank you. And then I flew back here and the following week, 
they, they said uh, that you have a callback. And one of the person who auditioned me was uh, Kim Misha. She was also my teacher. I took a couple workshops with her in the past. And 17 years ago, when I first met her, she said, oh, I just came back from Vietnam. I love the food, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so so we, talk, we talk about that. So she she auditioned me, and it was really something. It had, it had to be very, very strong because I play an angry person because I lost $20,000 in cash. Oh, wow. Well, that so, would make me angry. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, so, so guess what? Guess what? So when I got there, right, Donnie Warburg told me that, okay, just you know, be really angry, go, go all out. So I did. After I went all out, the, the guy, Vien Hong, he, he played my husband. And the camera guy said, I wouldn't want to be married to you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I said, I think I'm such a nice oh, wife. No. The camera guy said, you a nice wife? I said, why don't you just lose $20,000 in cash and see what your wife said? Yeah. Wow. do that. <laughs> Well, the still shot of that one scene is very convincing. You definitely yes. Yes. I'm, 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 cu I'm curious. I'm sorry, Gil. You go first, please. Yeah, no, no worries. I was just going to segue into your auditions. You have another audition that I saw that you posted up on Facebook recently. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I um, I just have audition and a call back for this movie they're making. And, and Robert Downey Jr. is already cast. It's a Vietnamese-American movie based on the book called The Sympathizer. And the author is a Vietnamese American. Okay. So I, I did have a couple auditions, but I think it's very, very competitive and I would love to be in it. We'll see what yeah. happens. Wow. I'd like to know. work with him. He's another legend yes. too. You know, yeah. I'm yeah. curious if Donnie Wahlberg, he's also a founding member of New Kids on the Block. I mean, <laughs> yes. If he's like, hey, let's do some some dance moves from back in the day since you're a dancer, you know? So uh, or if you get a chance to meet uh, his brother. You know, Mark Wahlberg. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I think that's awesome. You get to work with Robert Downey Jr. with me. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, just to keep finger crossed. <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, we're on your side, definitely. We'd love to see that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Real quick, um, I'm always interested in asking this side, when you're not acting, when you're not in front of the camera, when you're not dancing, what are some of the things that you like to do? And with that, I also want to make sure that I turn over to you some social media platforms that you can educate the audience to so that we can follow you as well. Okay, which question should I answer first? The, the social media? or Turn it up. You can do okay, it. Well, I'm on to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Since I, I don't know anything about TikTok, I should, I should learn, but I don't know anything about it. You know? have to ask our I kids. We're all trying to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's saying, oh, you're too old. You wouldn't want TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> you're not too old. These two are on yeah. there. <laughs> nice and young. We're oh sorry. My we're, goodness. we're trying to learn. We're, try, we're trying to yeah. learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, then I would like try to take my dance class. Actually, last August I was in the theater. So July and August we have a lot of rehearsal, and that weekend I was in an, an all Vietnamese American cast well, in the theater in Orange County in Santa Ana. And, and then I had a, a a TV interview with Little Saigon TV Network afterward. Oh, okay. So the, the summer was pretty good with the audition and, and, and this and that. And and then now I'm just auditioning. When I'm not working, I, I am auditioning or I go to event, need a film festival or book launch event. And I do reading and I try to watch a, a lot of TV show, everything to keep it up. That's great. Whether art film or trash film, whatever. Trash <laughs> TV series, soap I'm, opera. I'm curious if they're a favorite. Do you, do, you, do you prefer, say, you know, full featured films or being on TV or being on stage? Is there one that you like more than the other? Oh, it's hard, hard to say. But that's, uh, hmm. that's, that, I guess that's tough if, that, if you love what you do. There's nothing wrong with loving a few Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think that I think that's great. So, uh, for I, those of us that are watching or those that are listening, we are going to share the social media links when we put the post up, so you guys can follow Tiffany Rothman. Yes, I'm also on IMDb, but then again, all actresses, all actors. Are. Yes, yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Tiffany, we're we're going to have to definitely have you back on with us. 
Um, because I, and I do apologize. There seems to be some little problem with the audio and, and we're trying to mutter through. So if you are watching and you're hearing a little bit of feedback or some sort of taintedness with the audio, we do apologize. Um, we're at the mercy of technology. That's how it goes. So we do apologize. It's but we are great. Technology or gremlins. It's one of the two. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> there you showing go. our age. There's gremlins is showing our age. We're all oh my God. God. <laughs> Absolutely. We've been joined by actress, dancer Tiffany Rothman, and we are wishing you much success. And we do hope that we hear some great things. We're going to see some great things, I'm sure of it with the casting when it comes to your audition and the new role that you were up for. And that just means you're going to have to come back on the show and join us and tell us all about it. Maybe you can bring Mr. Robert Downey Jr. with you. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> come on, girl. <laughs> that would be wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Iron Man. We'd love to have Iron Man on the show. <laughs> absolutely absolutely well we thank you for joining us on the show we will certainly post up all of your social media platforms and for the show i am gail scott key your host along with my co-host christina Millsaps and richie rich Mangia, thanking you for taking the time for joining us this half hour and please stay tuned for next week we will have more upcoming guests and we will post them on our social media platform in the meantime we do wish you a happy evening thank you thank you so much Thank you. Thank you. Bye.